way we describe Blue Loon Bakery is that it's more of a place in the community. It's, it's a bakery, it's an artisan bakery. We've got breads and croissants and sandwiches, but the way we talk about it in our mission is that it's a gathering place for the community. So there you go, you're welcome, have a great day. And it's a place for us to uh, give back to those in the area. Mike and I both spent decades in work in the federal government. High stress, it was very rewarding. Uh, one of the ways that I de-stressed when I lived in Europe was I actually taught myself how to make sourdough. One of those cool things that we both enjoyed living overseas was you could get up in the morning and get yourself a croissant or a roll, and that was everywhere. When we came back to the States, that was one of the things we really missed. You're changing gears completely but you are doing something that's meaningful to people, whether it's the little kid with his or her nose pressed against the glass or the older couple from New London who says, wow, you know, we used to have a bakery like this. That adds meaning in a very different way. I was very stoked that they were coming in here. The croissants are amazing, but what is really important is they give back to the town. We donate a lot to the food pantry. We committed a certain number of loaves of bread to them every week. And then we have leftover pastries that don't survive. We will give them to the fire department or to the police or you know, just sort of spread the love a little bit around town. We lived in the mid-Atlantic, you know, didn't want to live in the South. I went to school in New Hampshire and Lori had never been here. So I said, hey, let's go up for a weekend and you can see what it's like and I can go revisit places that I always loved. And that's all it took. New Hampshire was the place. Well, I think that's coming to a place and starting really from scratch, to us coming from somewhere else, it gave us the freedom to really start from the beginning and say, how do we want to live our lives? There were no preconceived notions of, well, we've grown up here and, and we know everybody and we know everything. We were able to look at it from a blank slate. And we had the freedom to say, okay, we're going to build something. It gave us the opportunity to really live on a bigger landscape than we had before.